Hey there everyone, how's it going? My name is Rabbit and welcome to episode number 28 of Let's Blindly Play Through Crusader of Senti for the Sega Genesis aka Sega Mega Drive. In our last episode, after wrapping up the events at the past version of Soleil Town, we ended up going to that weird pond slash lake area that's between Soleil and I guess the desert area. I'm not sure if we're in the past of that section or if we're in the present of that section. It's not completely clear, but there was a cyclone over the water, so we made a beeline for that section and are now exploring what I'm assuming is some sort of monster's lair or monster's den. We've been slowly but surely uncovering different types of puzzles and We've been tested, y'all, because we've had to come up with some wonky combinations in order to get this far. So let's just keep on going. That looked like it was a path, and I think we're gonna have to hop on to Dippy here. I am just so ready to get past most of this. Although I am enjoying the music here, I think we can all tell we're rapidly approaching the conclusion of all of this fun stuff. And it could not come at a better time because I'm very quickly losing patience, but all right, I see the monsters are here. Just in case there's some shit that's gonna go down, I'm just gonna throw Leviathan back on me. So what do you have to say? Spirit energy is guarded by five senses and is very tough to beat. I don't know what that means, but we'll keep talking to them. You're an odd looking one, aren't you? But I'll be your friend. So that kind of comes back to something else. So I'm guessing this might be the past after all, because it seems as though in the past, the relationship between monsters and humans wasn't as adversarial. But of course, you know, the humans are to blame for what was going down. And we did sort of see the foundation of that in Soleil in the past. Anyway, this monster says, it's dangerous up ahead. Don't get any closer. I don't know what that means, but that doesn't sound good. Many have gone to destroy the spirit energy, but none have returned. Oh, I think that's what the other one was talking about. Do you know, what did he say, do you know about the senses or sensations? No, they are your five senses that catch the outside world to see, hear, touch, smell, and taste. Remember this well. Okay, what, do you know about, I think it said, do you know about sensations? It scrolls so fast and that was not me clicking through it. I'm just gonna say yes, just to see what other dialogue choice I get. I see you know them, that is good. All right, well that's it. So they didn't really say anything except there's some sort of set of senses waiting for us. Mother monster? Didn't we already kill mother monster? It was the heart back at Dahlia Valley, I think. Hey, that horn. That looks like my horn. Why, there shouldn't be two of my horns in this world. Who are you? So Nayak began to tell the story quietly. The world of light, lives that were born, and the history that happened. Mother Monster listened to Nayak, unmoved in its position. So as an aside, this doesn't make the most sense. I'm guessing what this means then is maybe we're in the present because we went to the past of Dahlia Valley to obtain the horn from Mother Monster, which to me implies that Mother Monster either was absorbed as a part of Dahlia Valley or just grew into Dahlia Valley. I don't know what the implication is here though with Mother Monster existing with the horn still intact because we went in the past, killed the heart and took the horn I don't know, I think this game has not done the best job of explaining what is going on, but whatever, let's just keep going, because I'm not gonna be able to figure it out. So Mother Monster continues, future world, hard to believe if it weren't for that horn, life forms other than our kind exists, and what really is light? Opposite of darkness, is it like the stars in the sky, so full of mystery? When this planet was born, there was an explosion which affected our world. When we came back to our senses, we were blown to this world. We tried our best to get back to our world, but the gate to our world was sealed with some sort of powerful energy. We could not get the gate to budge. Oh, so that's why monsters were here. It wasn't necessarily by choice, but by accident, and I guess the humans just did not want them here and did not want to share space. Anyway, the summary says, monsters were sent here by a twist of fate. They even lost the ability to return. Even so, they were forced to live in this world on their own. Who can blame them? The thought of monsters being evil is human nature. For the first time in his life, Nayak understood the position of the monsters. Slaughter and bloodshed. 
Do you really think we can gain peace this way? Human, perhaps you may be able to open the gate to the underworld, but it is dangerous. Many of our comrades lost their lives this way. The look in your eyes, are you really going? You need not lose your life now. I shall ask again, are you really going? I mean, I feel like we don't have a choice, so yes. Then I have nothing more to say. My thoughts are with you. All right, so move out of my way. Then I have nothing more to say. My thoughts are with you. That's all she has to say. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. There are different doors, which I'm assuming are going to take us to the different senses. I'm assuming. Oh God, what is this? What is this? What is going on? Ooh, I don't think I injured him at all. What is this? Okay, so let me try to get a path going. What can I do? Wong. Wong might be the answer. Okay, so let me set Wong here. And then, God, I had to take damage though to, and I'm not injuring this thing. Wong, come back. Okay, so let me leave Wong here, and then, I guess I got it that time. And it doesn't have that much HP, so it works, I suppose. What a weird battle. Okay, Wong, stay here. But do you guys see this? I have to take damage in order to damage this thing. That is so strange, but kudos to me for figuring out that this is a way to do this, I guess. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna make this magic happen. I need to get as many blocks open as possible. So maybe these fights actually aren't gonna be that bad. Oh my god. Come here, Wong. Maybe they won't be that bad. They'll just be... I don't know. They'll require us to think through what we need to... Oh, shit. No, Wong, what the fuck? Okay, that should be on there, right? All right, he's dead, and I didn't lose that much HP. There better be a way for me to heal. Oh, well, I guess worst case scenario, I could pause and leave. Can you do something for me? Then I have nothing more to say. My thoughts are with you. Oh, thank God she heals you. Okay, so that's not too bad. Oh, goodness. Let me put Leviathan back on, and what do you guys say? Let's go into... This door? I guess we can just go ca uh, clockwise. Oh my god, what is this? What the heck is this? Uh, is anyone getting Pac-Man vibes from this? And I'm guessing this one is Taste? What was that other one supposed to be? Y'all, this is so weird. I don't feel like I'm having a final boss fight. But it could be that the, what did they say, spirit energy is the final confrontation, and this is just, I don't know what this is supposed to be, to be honest, <laughs> but you know what, I'm just gonna go through the motions and do what I gotta do. That was ridiculous, that took us, what, one minute to complete? And no damage, go me. All right, shall we do another one? I should not get too boastful, because watch me get my ass kicked by this third one. What is this? I don't know what I'm looking at, oh God. Well, I damaged it. Whoa, I'm like sliding, you guys. This is not what I'm looking for. Stop, don't touch me. And so this one must be touch? So taste was like the Pac-Man thing. This one's touch. I don't know what the slug was. Maybe sights because it couldn't see and it fell for the trap of Wong, I'm guessing. I don't know, y'all. This is so weird. Very underwhelming. I feel like that puppet master that we fought in the old version of Hot Daisy or Burn Daisy or whatever was more difficult. But oh shit, you gotta hit both of these. Okay, I'm ready. Are you coming or what's going on? Oh god. Stop playing so much. Okay, I did not do any damage to this thing. What are you doing? Stop! Stop, stop, stop! Oh my god, maybe I should have Inferno or Chili on, might be better. You know what I wanna try out? We saw that if we have Inferno or Chili with this, it like attaches. 
But I think we've got to... Oh, God. I've got to land it. That's the kicker. Oh, God. That fucked him up. Inferno is kind of a beast, you guys. Inferno might be the most powerful animal companion we have. The problem is my attack is just so slow without Leviathan. So it's almost like you have to determine... Oh, my God. What is this? You have to determine what are you sacrificing to have the... Oh, this one's going to be easy too, I guess. I just have to hit it. Where are you? Maybe ricochet and fire would be good. Oh my god. So far, no damage here. I'm like really impressed with myself. Oh god. I almost took it there. I mean, this is not that bad. Oops. And as I say that, I missed the eye completely. Stop. Oh, I got him. What the fuck is this? So we really only took damage from one of these. Okay, one is left. What is this? Oh, it's like a note? This one must be sound. Oh, and then the other one was... So that eye was sight. So what was... Whoa. What is this? Oh, my God. I guess you need Dippy to get past that. So if this is... No! Oh, God, Dippy! All right, I probably can't fuck around too much. If this... Okay, I'm switching to Dippy. We're not doing this. Nice try. Not with Dippy in tow. But what I was going to say is, what could that other, the slug have been? Maybe smell? Oh, God. How am I fucking this up? This really should not be that big of a deal. So that one had to have been sense because we did taste. This is sound. We had sight. No, this one's hearing. I don't know, you guys. I'm guessing that's what they were. But honestly, who even cares at this point? I'm just trying to get through in one piece. But this has been a pretty underwhelming set of pseudo-boss fights. But maybe it's more meant to make you just think, whoa, oh crap, how did I fuck this up? Oh, wow, that animation is really cool. Good thing is, we're at least getting to see some of the different animal companions with their special effect now, because I really didn't do that great of a job, I guess, of experimenting. So fuck you, back to Dippy. I'm so sorry, guys. Maybe this is like cheap as <laughs> all get out to be doing this this way. But I don't know, like what else would be the best way of handling this? There's probably a strategy, and I'm sure there are plenty of people. I can probably hit you twice. Get wrecked. Y'all, that was ridiculously easy. Like too easy. And I feel this is way too early to call it quitsies, but I'm a little nervous about moving forward and then watch this upcoming fight take for fucking ever to get through. So I almost feel like maybe we should just part ways here, a little under 15 minutes, and when we come back together in episode 29, I guess that'll be it. That will be the end of this entire journey i'm saying this and then watch it not be the end we'll have whatever lies beyond this door and then something else but just in case this upcoming fight itself is going to take like 10 minutes and then we've got well i don't know if this game would really throw an epilogue our way but just in case, you know what? We're just going to call it quitsies. It's nice to have a shorter episode once in a while anyhow. So thank you as always for watching everyone. My name is Rabbit. This is my blind run through Crusader of Senti. And I'm just going to call it. I'm thinking that regardless of whether it ends up just being 20 minutes or 30 minutes, I think episode 29 will conclude our journey through this, through this game together. So, oh gosh, let's hold back the tears for now because it is possible that there could be a lot more going on after the next episode. But I'm pretty sure, I'm feeling it, y'all. 29 will be the end. So until then, because we can't really know for sure, so we'll just have to take the steps together. So until then, take care, be good, and I eagerly look forward to seeing you in just a moment in episode number 29 of Let's Blindly Play Through Crusader of Senti.